Hi there, welcome to Radiant Art Inspirations, where you get easy, fun, and fast face paint tutorials. Today we're going to do a very easy, breezy eye design. You can do this during Valentine's Day or any time of the year. Lately, I've been getting a lot of comments and DMs asking for more eye designs. We hear you, and we are going to provide exactly what you're asking for. We are going to go from this to this. Let's get started. These are the supplies we are going to be using today. First, with a small angle brush loaded in any split cake color of choice, you're going to add this nice swirl from the forehead to the corner of the eye. Then you're going to do one heart on top and one heart right near the eye on top of the cheek. As you can tell with the point of the heart and the point of the swirl, they are both focusing on the eye because that is your focal point. Add a little bit of glitter and then next we are using this flower stencil and using a finger dauber loaded in white to add a little bit of texture on top and on the bottom of the design. Both of these stencils are right next to the heart. Next, we are going to be outlining in this magenta fab color. So you're going to load your number two brush with any color and you're going to start outlining your hearts. And it's looking so much better. The hearts were kind of, you know, whack at first, but you got to trust the process. Looking really good. Then you're going to outline the top of your split cake swirl. Do two swirls right near the eye and just a little bit on top of the eyebrow. You're going to finish off that top teardrop and then do two backwards or normal teardrops in the middle. You're not adding too much swirls and yet it is perfect. As you can tell with this swirl on the cheek, it is starting at the top of the heart and then making its way down towards the cheek. Add one of these beautiful teardrops and then add two Macward or normal teardrops. In my opinion, I feel like Macward's teardrops give me a little bit more control than normal teardrops when it comes to flow. Then with a number two brush loaded in white, add a little bit of highlights around the swirls on the heart. If you want to add an extra teardrop or two, you definitely can. And then with your number four Mark Reed, because that brush makes the best dots I've ever used, add some dots in areas where it feels naked. Lastly, we are using World's Best Glitter by Silly Farm. It is so shimmery. It is so beautiful. And I'm adding it in areas to where I want to accentuate the design. That is it. It was so easy. Now we're going to do the exact same design on the practice board. In this video, you got to see the design on the face and on the practice board. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the thumbs up right below the video and subscribe if you haven't already because there's a lot more great shows coming to you soon. Also, while you're scrolling through social media, take a look at our TikTok that has half a million followers of us telling you true stories of what it's like being a face painter. Also, if you want to see the step-by-step -step for this design, go to our Instagram at Radiant dot art inspirations so that you can find the step by step for this design and so many of our other designs as well. That is it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.